So I'm going to have Roxy sit. Good. I'm going to just practice with her focusing for a second, having staying in a sit stay, me walking around her a little bit. She sees another dog farther down the alley. It's not related to our situation. Oh, coming towards us. Sue, why don't you show that dog coming? Roxy's staying in a sit stay. Good. Okay. We're gonna get a little bit closer. I'm actually gonna do left circles as we approach. Come on. Because if you do left circles like this, as you're approaching a dog. Okay, so I'm gonna do left circles here. Come on. And if you do left circles like this, first of all, she won't be pulling you anymore. And you do sit at the end of the left circle. Good. Hey, good. Stay there, don't come out. Andrew, go back over there. No, no, go back to where you were. Remember, you were over there. You're not going to come out until we tell you to come out. There you go. Okay. Good. Okay. So we're going to encounter Andrew and Bruce now. I'm having her sit, and I'm going to release her to be free. Good girl. I'm going to. I'm going to say, hey. I'm going to say, no go so she's free now I'm sending her away from me and you can come out with Bruce now and kind of walk up closer to us and see how she no doesn't really care about Bruce but stay there don't come any closer come good and you're gonna be calling him back to come to you too just that same way you don't have to pop him at all just do exactly what I showed you before which is so just to make this really simple I would say left hand leash like this just around your wrist. Right hand reward, right? And you say, come! And see how, there you go, put your, there you go, good. There you go, excellent. So I'm gonna do it again. Come, see, just like that. There you go, good. Keep doing it, keep doing it. Come. Because he's the one that's staring. Come. Good. So that's really it. It's so simple. Just relax. Make sure that you stay like we're going to face each other. So you keep facing me. We're going to keep doing this thing. And then when they get a little bit, she has to pee. There you go. Excellent. He comes back to you. See how relaxed they are already? Make sure you're showing both of us, Bobby Sue. So that means you have to probably be there so you can see both of us while we do it. And then every time that you call him, you want to be shooting, showing us though. There you go. So every time that you call him away from her, then you step back like I'm stepping back to you. Come. There you go. Good. And then you step back. See what I'm doing? Don't turn away. You come back this way because the dog is right here. So come back here. Keep going. Just You don't have to do that. You just walk back and he'll follow you. Okay. So then, and now you can say, come. There you go, when they walk back to each other. Good, there you go. Now step back into him like I am, see how I'm doing it? So go left, turn left, and then go left. There you go, excellent, keep going. Don't, don't, don't hold on to that leash though. There you go, you don't need that. Come, there you go, excellent, perfect. Turn into him, don't let him get behind you though. No, go back to where you were, see how he got around you? No, he's on your left. Now do a left turn. Turn into him, there you go. Keep going, don't let him get around, uh -uh. don't let him get, don't pull on that leash. All you're doing is like this, watch. Going like this, keeping the dog, see? You're hurting the dog like that. No tight leashes, call him to come, no tight leashes, right? Cut. No, keep, there you go. Make sure you call him to a fist, like this. Come, like this, good. So go ahead and call him again. Excellent. And then when you walk back, you just walk into him like this, see? Come on, don't let him get around you though. There you go. There you go. Not, yep, yeah, see, don't let him get around you. Don't let him get his head around you. Keep going. Keep going. Drop that leash though. Good. So now, why don't you um, hand the leash to Bobby Sue, and I'm going to have you take Roxy and do the same thing, and I'm going to do it with Bruce. 
So you're gonna do the exact same thing with her, and then I'm gonna do it with Bruce, and we're gonna trade off. I'll take Bruce. So you're getting, you, you're getting both of us in the shot? Mm -hmm. Okay. So see how I'm just holding the leash like that? You don't need to have any tension on the leash. Come, see this? Good. And I'm stepping into him. If I want to do a left turn, see how I step into him? Don't let him get around you. Sit, you can lure him to sit, just like that. I never touched him, didn't um, choke up on the leash at all. And then to release him to be free with my right hand, go. See, it's kind of this flowing kind of thing. Come, don't worry about that with her, okay? I just want you to, I'm just showing you, yeah, just have her keep coming back to you, okay? Come. Good. See how he turns into me? Come. There you go. They're right next to each other. You want to practice having them be very accustomed to breaking away from each other. Come. Good. Very good. So here we are. We took our little five minute, actually three minute walk. Two dogs. They're ignoring each other. Don't choke up on that leash. There you go. No tight leashes, right? Because a tight leash will cause uh, overstimulation in the dog and aggression. That's what causes leash aggression is tight leashes. So notice how I'm never pulling on him. And you can just stay there and let us walk right up to you. And we're just going to hang out here for a second. So this is like after 10 minutes of our second meeting here. Come. And you're just not going to allow any staring. Come. So you want to practice calling them away when they even look at each other. Good. See how he's starting to look away? Look over there and look back at me. Good. That's what you want. She's going to be doing the same thing. Looking back at you. Good. So in literally less than 20 minutes, because we had 10, 15 minutes yesterday and 10 minutes today with them. They're already starting to ignore each other. We're 10, 15 feet apart. You can get a little bit closer. He's totally ignoring her. Call her to come to you. There you go. And if they're taught, this would just be a few more days, if they're taught that whenever they get together, they ignore each other and they, they get treats, then uh, they're going to be all happy to see each other and they're going to ignore each other because that's when good stuff happens. They ignore each other, they get treats. Very good. And I'm having Andrew handle uh, Roxy because he's not a trainer. You can see how he's doing with her. And you just have to do my moves and the leash aggression goes away. Very good.